I've been feeling stuck here lately Think I might be going crazy Your song on repeat on my radio Your song on repeat on my radio Now you've been away for so long And I've been fighting feelings so strong Your song on repeat on my radio Your song on repeat on my radio I need to get out You're all I think about My head in the clouds right in is what I'm gonna do because I don't know how else to start this video uh, without being awkward so this was supposed to happen like six months ago when I actually first uh, got here on to USC's campus in Los Angeles um, but kind of what this video is about is I graduated last May with uh, my two bachelor's degrees so I have a degree in marketing and then a degree in strategic communications um, but during that time, I kind of decided that I also wanted to like continue my education in communications. So I applied to USC and I got accepted into their uh, master's program of public relations and advertising at Annenberg. And that is currently where we be. I have been here for a full semester. So uh, it's February, it's February 4th, 3rd something like that uh, for about four or three, four weeks into the semester. And the first semester was really hectic. Um, I got a job and I started doing some stuff and I was like really adjusting to life out here because um, something that you guys don't know about me yet since this is my first video is I'm from a very small town. Well, I mean like not a very small town. It's a decent sized town in Kentucky, um, but maybe like 30,000 people so small compared to Los Angeles yes it's a bit uh, it's a bit different so I was getting used to that and I was just so excited to be here that like everything else kind of took a back seat to like starting uh, this YouTube channel and like filming like I actually forgot to film like I filmed my whole trip out here I was like oh it's day one and it's day seven whatever <laughs> and then I forgot to film my first day in Los Angeles so I do have a bunch of like photos and videos from last semester um, that I'm going to make a little like compilation video of so you guys can see uh, what my first semester was like at USC and how I felt about it and kind of like um, looking back on it what I wish I would have done or what I wish I sh didn't do and different things like that but for the time being <laughs> since we're straying from the point of this whole video and I'm just like rambling at this point, um, let's take a step back and rewind about six months uh, to the day when I left my house. It's day one of moving to California. We have the cars packed entirely. Mom is getting Calvin. We're getting in the car. Jump, jump. He's like, no, thank you. We're getting in. So, first stop is Waterloo. Okay, so we didn't film last night when we got here because we were tired. So we ate and pretty much just went straight to bed. But we made it to Waterloo. Day two, going to the Badlands today. Tyler has his strong, uh, ship strong eye work, much like always. So, yeah. <laughs> But um, we're heading out of the hotel and getting on the road. It's 7.18 now, so see you when we get there. Well, I thought I'd add a little bit of driving content, especially because no one can ride with me and I'm super bored by myself. Like, singing a lot, but it still gets pretty boring after a lot. Um, I have half a jacket on because the sun keeps shining down this way and I don't want my left arm to be super tan and my white, uh, right one to be pale. So there's that. Um, we're on our way to the Badlands KOA. Uh, we're stopping at the Corn Palace because apparently Matt is uh, coming east and they're stopping there too. So like it's on the way. So we're going to stop and say hi. Probably have lunch. Uh, you know, fill up. This stick is really coming handy. It's like, I'm not gonna lie. So, they're behind me. We're just chilling and uh, we're on our way. So, I guess we'll see some friends at the Port Palace. Riley, where are you? 
it's a video. <laughs> Just so you know. We're at the Corn Palace. I have Calvin. Making our way inside. We're here to meet Matt and eat some food. And uh, <laughs> there's the Corn Palace. I have a feeling we might eat here since they have patio seating. Maybe Calvin can eat with us. He's excited. Ain't that right, buddy? Y'all. Calvin in the Corn Palace. And then, Mom, say hi. Hello. <laughs> There's Tyler with his camera. Hey, we're in I guess, I don't know. I don't think we have to pay for parking. Calvin! Okay, so we're on our way to Badlands and we found a rest area. So we're hoping there's a sign here because we stopped. Tyler wanted to see it. Let's go see if there's a sign. Is there a sign? No, oh, well, shit. we stopped again and there is no sign. I think Indiana was the only one that had one. Hey, I need to get better. I still need to get better at these selfie angles. Oh well. well. <sighs> nice little break to get out and walk anyway. So, and pee on the tree. Oh, oh. Okay, well. Next stop, Badlands, hopefully. Okay, so that was really weird. I don't know if you can see back there. That stop was a COVID checkpoint. And like, we're in the back ass middle of nowhere in South Dakota, like like seven miles from Wanbley. And I'm driving really slow, so don't worry <laughs> to whoever may watch this other than myself. Anyway, so like about 40 minutes from the Badland White River KOA, they asked me where I was coming from, where I was go going, like, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna hardly see anyone out here, but, okay, that was just strange. I haven't encountered anything like that so far ever. So, weird. Didn't, I'm, I'm immunized, but they didn't ask for a immunization card. There's a car coming in, I don't know if it's a police. Okay, it was not, but, okay, well, we'll get off here finish driving so I guess KOA in 40 minutes maybe if we don't get stopped again I got that on video. So we are at our campsite, Badlands KOA. You can see that our tent is broken and it's the first night. We need real tents, not pop-up ones. So if, might by buying a tent, yeah. But, you know, some duct tape and hillbilly ingenuity, it works. Um, now we're just setting up, chilling for the first night. Tomorrow we're gonna spend all day in the park. So, yeah, be a good time. Um, at least we don't have to sleep outside because I thought we were going to, but it's okay. So, what day is this? Is it day three? Stupid clip is there, except for any words. You spend my huh? Day three, and we've done had breakfast. Packed at the campsite. I'm sitting on a bed with Calvin here next to me, and we are going into the park. So we're gonna hike, go around, see what there is to do. Basically, just spend the entire day out there. So, I'm gonna turn around, say hi. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I was scared there for a second. <laughs> Why were you scared? <laughs> we, <laughs> we thank but God when it was dark. It's fine. I don't feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. I wanna
wanna drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me down feel alive I think this is where Amanda and I were last time and we took our sunset photo but I feel like a lot of it has like just eroded away like I thought there was a bigger place to sit maybe it's a different spot but so beautiful So we hiked up to Saddle Pass. Hopefully I don't drop my phone. We're just chilling up here on the crow's nest. Also, I'd like to say this is a straight drop down. 100%. I have a lot of trust in myself and I probably shouldn't, but it's okay. So if you look, there's, we started down there and we hiked up here and around, a little bit down this way, back up and across the flat. Mom's supposed to be looking for us. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. I wonder if she sees us. She's probably like freaking out because we're standing up here right now. Say hi, mom. Calvin. She's eating a donut. But thought we'd come up here for sunset. There it is. Me and my dumb ass up here. I just wanted a picture. Man, he's huge. I didn't realize how big they were. Oh, we turned him back around. What are you doing? Please, dear God, don't break it. Please don't. Look at the faces on there, though. Yeah. Those are not our presidents. <laughs> oh my God. Mom's cleaning the windshield. Where are we? Cowboy Corner. First mark of the trio. At the horse. You don't bark at people. You don't bark at dogs. He barks at a blue horse. I don't think you like the cross on it. <laughs> Did you see me though? Oh. Made it to devil. 
Tyler's tower. Tyler sitting in the back all scrunched up. Which Calvin? We got free entry today too, which was really cool. Um, we have park pass going, but. I've never really been the one who's worried. All right, so just pulled into our campground for the night here in Gardner, and Calvin's gonna freak out. Just oh, that one plopped right down. So we're vibing. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out and maybe not scare them while I go get the registration. Hey dudes. Hi buddies. Please don't like I'm scared. Just a little bit. So just like driving here, unsure of what to do because there's multiple. And I'm kind of afraid to go around. We did though. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Day five, we're in Gardner, yes. Um, just got up, showered, ate breakfast, and now we're gonna head to Yellowstone. But uh, it's what, 8 a.m., a little after eight, and we're gonna go to Old Faithful, hopefully the Grand Prismatic Spring, and some other stuff. I'm gonna go buy a t-shirt for John since he likes mine so much. Uh, our one little tent while mom sleeps in the car. Calvin sleeps with us too. Mama likes the car. So you can see the river over there. It's real nice. We'll walk over. So Best sleep I've had on this trip so far, I think. It was really nice last night. Let's go get today started. I am made to be free. I know I shouldn't do this, but I just really want to touch it. I know. That one's getting ready to go. That one back there? No, a lot, but they get rougher when that one gets ready to go. It is just so pretty. I've been feeling stuck here lately. 
think I might be going crazy Your song on repeat on my radio Your song on repeat on my radio Now you've been away for so long And I'll be fighting feelings She has to say about that. So, just give her a few seconds. And let's see what she has to say about it. The girl that did it just laughed. She's like, let's go. I'm like, so. Did you get spied on? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit? She put her hands to her eyes and just kind of... I don't know. She, I didn't she see, go. I didn't see her all the way, but... She continued to open it after I made a noise, and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Video did. Wow. It's funny, watch a video. <laughs> did you get her open again? No. Oh. Day six, in the car, eating Lucky Charm marshmallows. Um, it's really early, like... Is it just now about maybe about 7 30 8 o'clock got up at five uh, making our way to zion <laughs> we got like nine and a half hours to zion so see you there so we're driving through utah right now headed to zion and this is what it's looked like the entire way it's literally so smoky from the wildfires you can barely see anything in the distance it's really wild. It's burning my eyeballs. Yeah, it's it's irritating our eyes and you can really smell it too. So hopefully it's clearer in Zion. It's day seven. We're in Zion. Camped in the South Campground last night. Uh, beautiful. You can see all the stars. Um, hot AF though. Like, it was really hot. This morning it feels good. Um, we're slowly making our way to go hike or do something. I'm tired. Kind of don't feel like doing anything big, but I still want to go into the park. So it's about nine o'clock. We changed up the trip a little bit. We're going to go leave here about four today instead of spend another night and go stay in Vegas. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so pictures of Zion to come. Hopefully I can find a bike. Um, look at me, I'm a girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want Is it unsweet? It's unsweet, but I have sugar here for you. Thank you. And then there's that sugar for you. For your tea, I don't know if you want sugar in your tea either. I don't. Okay, about post. We're here eating, it's about 4 o'clock now. And. Um, I don't know if they do straws. Just use a use a fork to oh for your margarita. Mm. Oh. It's about four o'clock. Tyler and I went out about nine nine thirty this morning. We went to the lower Emerald Pool, um, and we biked from stop four to six eventually. Um, stopped at five to do the West Rim Trail via uh, Bright Angel. I went about a quarter of a mile, crap that on Tyler because I knew I wasn't, I wasn't gonna make it. And the smoke seemed to have followed us um, from Salt Lake City. 
and you can't really see anything, so I knew if I was going to kill myself over a hike, I would want to at least see the view before I die. Um, but went all the way to the end, rode the shuttle, because now you don't need tickets, thank God, otherwise I would have died. Um, and rode our bikes back to camp. Now we're eating because I'm getting hangry. And um, then we're going to head on to Las Vegas because we changed it up. So instead of staying here in Zion for another night, Mom. Because Mom needs a motel room. I also want one and air conditioning. So. <laughs> and a nice shower. I don't think I would come this time. We're going to stay at the MGM. Grand Hotel in Vegas, so it's only about two and a half hour drive, three maybe, and um, we'll be a little bit closer to LA too, but didn't die, did a little bit of exercise, we did good even though we didn't do a lot of like hiking, hiking, so um, I'll turn it around and you can see Tyler, there's Tyler, he finally got his margarita that cost him ten dollars, yes, it's a top shelf though. <laughs> And then there's Calvin. Yeah, Calvin's eating with us. So, I guess I'll see you in Vegas. It is 108 here in Las Vegas. Or was yesterday. I'm supposed to get up to the same today. Um, it's entirely too hot. I feel like I'm melting, but it's day eight. And we're going to Los Angeles today, hang out at the hotel, and chill before we move in tomorrow. And we meet Tilly for the first time, so this is going to be really fun. So, it's too hot, I don't even want a video. Like, I'm in my hotel room, right? Um, but played some slot machines last night. Don't really understand the appeal, but I kind of want to go back and play $10 on this one, because it was the best one. Now... So, probably not gonna. I'd like to play poker or cards one time, but the buy-ins were just like, I'm not willing to spend the money yet. So, we'll see. But, on the road to Los Angeles. We just crossed the mountain and it's a literal wall of smoke over there. You can't see nothing and over here, look how clear. Oh my god. Crazy. Look at that wall of smoke. Oh my goodness. Wild. And after we passed that massive wall of smoke through the mountains, we were in LA in like a few hours, I think. Um, either way, we stayed at a hotel downtown for the first day because I wasn't allowed to move in the dorms yet. Uh, we went to Santa Monica, uh, went to the pier. Maybe I'll add some like photos in right here. Um, and show you what we did because we brought Calvin with us, of course, and walked around with him a little bit. Um, then the next day, we got up super early and found my apartment, uh, walked around for about half an hour trying to figure out where I could get my keys. <laughs> uh, but eventually, eventually we did it. We made it. And we moved all the stuff in, which took maybe like seven trips up the elevator <laughs> because there was so much stuff in my car and then we still had stuff in my mom's car so we did that and met my roommate later that day Tilly um, so yeah that was super exciting it was a lot of fun it was a super super busy like first two three weeks it was it was a lot of fun and we met a little friend group there in the beginning too, um, there was like a campus event uh, right on our lawn outside. The best thing about Annenberg uh, house, like the dorm housing here, is that there's this really, really big lawn like right out here. My balcony like overlooks it and um, it's great. It's big enough that you can play like soccer, a little bit of football, like frisbee. So I need my greenery. <laughs> I was super thankful for that. That was like a really big thing that I wanted. Um, like choosing my housing here because like it's the city, you don't get a lot of that. Um, also the other big thing was that it's Annenberg House. It's a special community house for uh, my degree program and my little like school within USC.
But that's all I have for this video, my first one. So road tripping across the US to attend USC. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun like on my trip out here. And that's another thing. If you guys have any questions about like road tripping or places that you want to see or places that you think you should see, like, I don't know. I would be happy to give road trip advice. I have done it twice now. Um, and I continue to travel a lot, um, mainly within the US. I have been abroad once um, in Ireland, which everyone should go. I tell everyone that, like go to Ireland if you can. If you ever get a chance, it's beautiful. My favorite place. Um, but yeah. With that said, like for my hopefully new viewers, if there's anything that you want to know about uh, being in college or choosing a master's program, life at USC, um, the Annenberg program, other life questions that I'm probably not the person should be answering, but can or attempt to with my little nugget of information from living my own life. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Um, yeah, I would be happy to answer any questions like um, that you have about anything like that or like even about myself. Here's to the start of my YouTube channel and uh, I actually haven't created any other social media yet for this so when I post this I will have and I'll put it in the description below. So if you guys for some reason end up liking me and want to follow me, you can do that there. <laughs> um, the amount of Instagram accounts that I have is unreal. So one more time. We're the age of social media. Yeah. Uh, but I guess I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye!